basic flow. So now let's say there is a requirement of a product. So from that product requirement, first product specification is generated from specification uh, system level architecture is generated and based on the architecture, ITL designers will design the logic. So this logic design part is basically our RTL. It is written in mostly Verilog or VHDL. Now, once your RTL is ready, there enters uh, the verification part. So this is a digital design. And once the design is ready, verification engineers work is to verify the logic if if there is uh, like any bug then we'll get back to the designer and again designer has to fix that bug so this is the basic cycle where in this entire flow this part gets like it is most important and it requires most of the time also now once our rtl is ready then we'll generate a netlist. Now, this netlist comes with uh, initially, it is a gate level uh, thing. And like you also may know that in, in gate level, there will be some delays, right? Uh, so now there we do GLS, which is gate level simulation. And GLS also have multiple parts. Like first we will do uh, without delay, whatever netlist is there, we'll do the verification and then we will get another netlist with proper delays. So if there are like 10 gates, then for each of them, some delay will be there. So finally, one signal, when it reaches the other side through these 10 gates, there will be significant amount of delay. Now we need to make sure with all those delays in place, still the design is working. So this is like very top level thing, which I am saying. So with after uh, this netlist verification, then again, like it will go to physical design team, physical design team will do the floor planning and all that stuff and they will fix if there is uh, any like timing issues which are not meeting uh, or there are some uh, setup or hold issues so they will fix that and again they will give us an at least again we'll fix that if there is any issue we'll report it back so these are like there will be multiple iterations if you enter uh, industry as a verification engineer many different companies they will have different uh, milestones and the one will be for design milestones which will be in this part and there will be milestones for verification which will be in this part so in digital design we will mostly work with rtl or uh, verilog code and netlist and after like the physical design is completed, they will do some other checks also. Some uh, like model checking and all that stuff will happen, but that is not coming under digital verification. So now once everything is clear, then it goes for tap out. So this is one of the most critical thing and most like time consuming uh, part of the entire flow now the question comes like as a verification engineer if we are verifying design against what we are verifying so the idea is uh, what is the intention of the design so we will be verifying the design against design intent so as a verification engineer whatever specification we get specific specifications will be generated based on uh, architecture so this is product specification like if you are working on a uh, subsystem then it will have a specification for that 
if you are working on a part of the subsystem which is ip intellectual property you will have some specification for that ip also so as a verification engineer your golden reference is your uh, specification so we need to make sure whatever designer has uh, implemented that matches the design intent or our design specification so and one more uh, bigger part is we have to make sure that all the design features which are mentioned in the specification those are implemented and those are working